How was it like being a bartender, man? That's you should fun. talk about that. That's okay. cool. Bartending's fun. You're uh, pretty frozen. Babies aren't the only ones who cry for their f***ing bottles, but it's so much fun. I've heard some funny sh** and um, I've had people come up. Um, one dude brought three different girls the same day and each time acted like I didn't know him. I'd say, what's up, man? He'd be like, shh, shh, <laughs> try to get me to wingman for him. Like, right, bro? Right? Constant fist bumps. And I was like, no, man. Like, <laughs> Just get on with your thing, you f***ing yeah. dog. And I'm a dog too, but the same place, that's a little tacky. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Never poop in your own backyard. Welcome back to Spirits Collective. I'm Alex. And I'm Aiden. And this is the show where we all learn to drink together. And today, we got our buddy Matt with us. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> and since this is our first guest, we're going to try something special today. We got Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Whiskey. All right, so this is a single barrel whiskey, and it's barrel proof, which means that it comes out of the barrel and it's put straight into the bottle. And this particular bottle, the barrel number is 21-03174. This bottle is 130 proof or 65 ABV. Oh, distilled and bottled by Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Yeah, so today we got our buddy Matt here to try this whiskey with us. You have anything going on? You have anything going on, man? you'd like to share with us? Um, <laughs> yeah, this year's our third annual um, Dank Fest. It's a festival we've thrown for the... Uh, you know, a bit of education on hemp and CBD and all things, not just essentially marijuana and smoking. To break the stigma and show people there's a lot of beauty between, the, you know, this product, this flower and the products of it. You know, clothes, a toilet paper, toiletries, anything. Building materials, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a wonderful plant beyond just, oh, if we're 20, blaze it, bro. Like, I mean, also, <laughs> you know, blaze it a little, but... um. <laughs> There's a lot of good to come from it. It's, you know, states that legalize it, they decriminalize it, money's being made, less less problems are there. So much good can be done from this. Anything in moderation, of course. There's health benefits, it's medicinal, and too much of it will obviously get you sick as too much of anything. Yeah, too yeah. much, too much of anything. Yeah. So I think moderation is Healthy. key. Keep yeah. it medic medicinal, keep it as a resource, not as just purely recreational, you know? Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're here, Matt, to, yeah. to enlighten yeah, us. Thanks and, for having you know, me. I've, I've already learned a lot based off of just what you've just said, and hopefully we'll learn more as we go on. But what do you guys think? Should we open, we, should we talk about the bottle design and then get in there? Uh, I mean, I gotta say, this bottle design, dude, it looks very classy. It is a 375 ml bottle. Um, half bottle. Yeah, it's a half bottle. Gas prices are... But it does look <laughs> pretty damn climbing. classy. Super nice golden label. It looks like it has a badass cork. I mean, I'm all for it, man. Yeah, we love what the corks on the, the show. Matt, go ahead. What do you, what do you think? I would bust out my best glassware for this, and it makes me think of either some sort of flask or elixir. Yeah, and yeah. The, the yeah. World of Warcraft enthusiast <laughs> in me loves that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's a. Uh, it's. It looks even nicer than the Gentleman Jack, which is supposed to be sort of their more sort of elegant, the higher more, end. The rounded, but like still cut cornered edges. Yeah, kind of sexy. And hit it, they hit it out of the park, and um, I'm really excited because with big big brands like jack daniels they got so much capital they can do a lot of crazy stuff with the, their whiskeys uh, so they get age it longer they could do a bunch of different stuff so i'm not exactly sure what's special about this one but do you want to do you want to take it away <laughs> i mean aside from it being the single barrel this is a barrel proof which as i said in the little spinny bottle facts thing um it just comes out of the barrel and it's bottled so it's gonna have all that flavor it's gonna have all that it's it's a really high proof bottle it's 60 65 percent so it's gonna have a slight burn i anticipate but uh with that burn comes a lot of flavor yeah you hopefully want. um uh and another thing i didn't know how many different expressions jack daniels actually had there's like 16 different jack daniels bottles mm -hmm. that's that's freaking crazy beyond just honey yeah and, fire too. yeah, they can and do that's that. without the honey and fire oh, it's yeah. just like straight whiskeys not not flavored stuff Sweet, not flavored yeah. stuff there's 16 variations um this is one of them so i'm pretty excited so let's go ahead and pop this open uh who wants to do it i think we should let matt do it you want to do it matt would i you gotta Ooh. keep the cork on you the, gotta put the cork for our the... asmr fans oh, okay well for the first time ever <laughs> it's pretty basic <laughs> nice cork. little sound nice little cork sound always satisfying nonetheless 
feel like the alcohol is already in the air. Yeah, honestly. yeah, definitely. Um, but it doesn't smell bad. I, I didn't get any nasty smells while I was in the air. Honey and cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> I have if to you say, see anything stand out about it? Yeah. I have to say, it looks pretty dark compared to it looks like, like that standard whiskey amory. color. It seems just as sappy as other bourbons. You know, like it's it'll stick together, but. Uh, doesn't look as viscous, you know, it doesn't look heavy, like syrupy, like the way normal Jack Daniels feels. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense, you know? I'm, get, well, I'm it, getting some very slow, slow dropping tears. So I am expecting a better mouthfeel, but yeah. I, I honestly, I suck at the sort visuals. of talking about the, yeah, the visual cues and what I should be getting and what should oh, I yeah. expect, but. Yeah, you see, it's like, so normally bourbon's very, very viscous and thick, because being yeah. from corn, so that's why Jack Daniels is real heavy. Should we get in there? Should yeah, we let's smell get this? In there. Holy crap, dude. That smells super good. It, uh. Like cinnamon cinnamony and spicy, like spices. Yeah, yeah right. I'm getting a lot of. Synonym. Synonym. <laughs> <laughs> it slaps you on the way out for sure. Cinnamony and, like, sort of baking spices is what I'm assuming this is. And I'm getting, oh, Like cardamom. Yeah, I got a good, mm. nice caramel just now with a little bit of vanilla. And I think that's all I'm getting. Anything else would be just me talking out of my ass. I called it and uh, I bullshit too, so don't even worry. <laughs> hey, well you, you hit it around there. You said cinnamon. From here, this angle, it smells like... A lot of sweet, for sure a lot of sweet flavors for me. Play around with the, like, the nostrils, like, oh shit. You try to get it at this like angle. going into my eyeballs. <laughs> Which one's your good one? <laughs> it for sure burns a little bit. But. Years of substance abuse, I can't help you with this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's very... Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm surprised it's kicking your ass a little bit, but like... It's I can burning, feel dude. the alcohol, like I can feel it going to my eyes. Yeah, yeah when <laughs> I But like, it, I'm, like not, I'm not smelling it. You ever been to one of those uh, like floral stores downtown? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. it smelled like. <laughs> you know what I'm kind of getting on this one, too? Arroz con leche, a little bit. Arroz Cinnamon. con leche. Yes. Yeah. Cinnamon, yeah. condensed Cinnamon, milk. Yeah. A little, Vanilla-y. the baking spices like cardamom or something uh, along the lines of clove or something. It's, that's hopefully that translates into how it tastes. Um, it smells dank. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. Taste. We're here with Matt with Dankfest. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I said that one wrong. Holy shit. The cinnamon spice was there. I sipped it wrong from start to finish. Sweet little cousin (laughs) with like a big spicy uncle. (laughs) I'm getting those those (coughs) spices in the finish. It's very pleasant. But I have to taste it again because... Dude, that was bomb. That was good. Okay, I'm going in again. It opened up my nostrils. It's very warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel hot. Like. It's good though, dude. I want to. Oh. I want to come into a cabin from like blowing snow and just have a little like oh, this much. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like in the winter, just like. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like you have that little blush going on from the snow, but a little bit of this kick in that. Yeah. You know yeah, what? It's, it's it gets you really warm, but it's not burning. You know what's that weird? Sense? I'm getting. It's very warm, but I'm getting no bitterness, dude. I'm getting more of a, like a spicy yeah, pepper, yeah, like yeah. nice, like cinnamon, dude, like cinnamon type of flavors. Spicy, spiciness. Um, that was good. I feel like gold. I feel like this is, uh, this kicked my ass a little bit because I sipped it wrong. So um, same sweet spice energy to me as ginger. Okay, it yeah. It doesn't remind me of ginger, but that like, sweet yeah. spice, you know. It reminds you, yeah. Um, I think this is way sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I was pretty nervous because of the proof. It's not overbearing or empalagoso, but uh, it lets you know of its presence. And you know what? Like the heat, it does it does burn, but it goes away, I think, pretty quickly. Like I'm fine now. I'm already cooling off. Yeah, I still feel a little good. warm in my throat, but like, like a pleasant, pleasant sort of, you know? It's embracing me. Yeah. I like throat warmth. So what do you think? Should we go to On the Rocks? <laughs> so we got we got the Jack we single we got the barrel. Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, barrel proof on, the, on rocks. the rocks. 
um, for those ASMR fans out there. A little clanky clank. Should we get in there? I don't want to dilute this yeah. too much. I'm kind of excited. Sniff it. Wow, the holy caramel crap, dude. really yeah. kicked down. I didn't even smell caramel before, but no. now it's just there. Holy. Why? Because we put it in an ice cube. Fat ice. All right, I'm, re- I'm going in. I can't wait for you guys. <laughs> I'm already sipping it. It's so smooth. Way smooth. It's Gets way rid of that warm feeling. Um, ah, but just as everything else, man, I feel like it's way smoother, but it brought out it brought out a lot of bitterness. Yeah, yeah, definitely, but not not as much as the other whiskeys. I think like yeah, it's there, but I think it's more of a pleasant bitterness. Having said that, it's not so viscous. It, um, real, it reminds me very much almost of an Irish whiskey with the dry and the thinness of it. You know. Mm. What do you guys I mean, think? I think it's like way smoother. Just I, I don't that bitterness. I think if I was drinking this and solely this for the night, I would sip some neat and enjoy it like, like kind of what we did. Sip some neat, in put the, the rest the, of it on yeah. ice, and then drink it like that. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that's that's actually brilliant. <laughs> I've never yeah. thought of that. I've always yeah. thought. I always just think I like the it other. neat or Keep. I like it preferred. I like it both, but I never would have thought. Yeah, I'm gonna sip this neat and then go to on the rocks. I was gonna ask you, you who who are bartender. Um, what do you think of when you sip this? Like, do you get any ideas? Like, you know what? This is gonna go great in an old fashioned, or uh, oh, like this would make an awesome old fashioned in Manhattan. Something that would really anything Manhattan. that would complement and like give, um, I guess, focus to the tones of the flavors and the notes. You'd want something orange. I can already get some orange peel from this. You know, like yeah. oh, if you yeah. if you threw some sugar in here, I'd be like, oh, cool, an old fashioned. But um, obviously not. But you know, yeah. <laughs> orange bitters. Um, yeah, because this has so much flavor. I think it like can hold its own. Mm-hmm, yeah. I would just go straight for mineral water, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just like yeah. a soda. splash, too, or like... I half. mean, no, I, I'd i still probably prefer on the rocks like this, but I guess if I had to, yeah. I'd go for soda or ginger ale. Because, again, it just would... Compl- th- there's enough flavor in this. I think this is really good on the rocks. Uh, it's a little bitter, but it's not bitter in like such a bad way. And the more diluted it gets, the more... like It's just... It still has flavor, and it's easier to drink. I mean, we kind of Curtis. said what we think, but like, just like a thumbs well, up. Well, we haven't really asked the question. Thing. Yeah. Four out of 20, but that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the verdict. So, uh, Matt, Alex, if you were like a complete noob, like someone that's never had whiskey before, would you recommend this bottle to a beginner? If said beginner wants to up their whiskey game, sure. But if... If it was like us when we started hanging out, we were just drinking Jack out the fucking and with Coke. So yeah. no, no. Be- if you, if you're going for the understanding of it all, yeah, definitely. But if you're gonna drink because you want to have a good time, you will probably just hiss at it and yeah. not enjoy it or appreciate it, not appreciate. It. Especially for, what was the price on this? Okay, so this one, this is the half bottle and it was thirty one dollars. So just imagine the 750 is going to be around 60, maybe, right? Given just the regular. What's the regular old number seven Jack uh, Daniels cost? Uh, that, that was like probably get a liter bucks. for thir- you get a liter for 30 bucks probably. Okay. Oh. Also thinking as Jack an alcoholic, Daniels is a little expensive. thinking as an alcoholic, the 65 percent was pretty impressive. I already kind of can just see this as okay. You basically have one and a half. Yeah, it's yeah, that's it's true. more than one and a half yeah. shots basically. So you're saying like you more bang for your buck? Is what yeah. You're yeah, if you're trying to get lit. You know <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I think I found one of my new favorites. Um, Damn, really? You're going I, that far? I was very nervous. If I see it somewhere at a bar, I'm going to be excited and be like, baby, it's the one from the yeah. point. Tell my girlfriend and probably order it just to be cute. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like this this made me nervous because of the proof. This is the highest proof. This is the highest, highest proof we've had on this channel. Highest. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I think a beginner that's like really going for it could yeah. probably like this on the first go like i really want to get into whiskey by itself they they i've had jack daniels regular jack daniels this seems fancier let me try it and i yeah. think it's gonna impress them a little i think a beginner nice. who's like kind of on the fence don't even like go near yeah this. i think yeah. like someone's like i want to get i like, like someone who's like i i can't really 
stand the taste of alcohol even in my shot even in my like yeah because there's people that can't even drink liquor in a freaking cocktail like because they hate the liquor taste Mm. if you're that kind of person and you want to get into whiskey don't even go go near this bottle as a a bartender i'd use this pet i'd love to use this time or platform to say if you mix it right you won't taste it at all it's not weak it was made right man there's such a difference and anyone who thinks otherwise (laughs) yeah yeah overall i think it was pretty good what, what I recommend for a beginner, if you're like first time drinking whiskey and you're scared even a little bit, I wouldn't even go near it. But if you're somebody that like you're yeah. committed, yeah, a uh, committed beginner who's like I really want on to your like palettes. this, yeah. yeah, and you have that extra money too because it's an expensive bottle. Or if you're trying to get lit cheap, yeah. Or as if Matt you're trying said, to get lit, yeah. <laughs> take shots. I mean, as Matt said, you can get the half bottle and like higher proof, so it's like more bang for your buck. So. Before we end this, Matt, anything you'd like to add about Dankfest or about being here first, today? First of all, thanks for having me. On yeah, of course, man. Sure, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always welcome. Cool. Um, yeah, just April 20th, uh, a lot of hardworking vendors, um, you know, musicians, artists of all sorts, craftsmen, craftspeople, you know, just in general are getting together to show our city and and anyone who kid who does catch and does watch what we're all made of what we got and what we work for you know these are our passions these are our livelihoods and it isn't always just a game or about just getting high there's a uh, work to be done and we might relax a little after work but it's work first you know what i'm saying yeah exactly should we have one last sip yeah cheers cheers and don't forget to like and subscribe i'm uh, i'm about to